we have heard from first thessalonian chapter 1 especially in the words 5 it's given that though the lord has anointed us and sent us to be the ministers we not only merely give the word but in our word we manifest the power and presence of god so we all of us are called to be the ministers of the word while preaching the word we have to take care it is not that we reproduce because literally it is not we pray no man can literally pray only god spirit can pray with our spirit all that we can do is we can enter into his presence if we enter into his presence the spirit of god joins with our spirit and we begin to pray that's what in the later stage in first thessalonian chapter 4 and chapter 5 st paul will explain how our spirit will join with god's spirit and cry abba father so what in the book of first thessalonian the deeper meaning of the teaching of paul is that we don't preach to convince somebody we don't preach to convert to somebody we proclaim because we have heard him speaking to us we are asked by him to do something to communicate something and we go and communicate and that's what we read in mark chapter 16 verse 20 the disciples after being filled with the holy spirit being pushed by the spirit the spirit of god leads us led by the spirit that's what the word is being used there even for the apostles it is said the holy spirit pushed peter into the house of cornelius in acts chapter 12 in mark chapter 16 after the spirit filled the spirit led them and they preached and the lord did miracles and the lord approved that the word is from god word can be born out of our head there is a saying in tamil aalayathila aadanumna adukku munnala ambalathila aadanum ambalam is a old tamil word is ambala means the house in your room before you dance for god at the altar you have to dance with him in your room that is the real meaning of it the anointing of the preaching doesn't created at the altar it is obtained at the altar in our personal prayer when we are with him he gives the fire and if the fire is there it will anoint it doesn't come with our voice we can through our voice we can create an atmosphere but atmosphere is not the anointing atmosphere is conducive for anointing anointing comes from god 
presents we create so the disciples listened to the voice of god and they went and miracles and wonders took place this is what st paul says our teaching doesn't come merely with just preaching it accompanies miracles and wonders and the presence of the holy spirit this is what st augustine experienced in the life of his mother monica he was highly qualified man when he was anti christian he was arguing with agustin in their times there were very big big calls so agustin was supposed to be one of the intellectuals and agustin's guru ambrose also equally highly intellectual but agustin writes more than ambrose more than anyone i have found power at the knees of my mother and the raising of her hands one day he went to drink his uh, drinks and he took the bottle he took the glass and he went and he was drinking about to drink how to pour it there was a kind of stream a big river type flowing behind his house he was sitting on the bank and suddenly he saw jesus coming bank that is his, his conversion so he left the bottle he left the glass and he did not know what's happening to him when he saw christ the presence of god led him to weep and cry it led him into sin to be conscious of his sin when we enter into the presence of god the first thing we come to know is how we are what i am in what situation i am and that's what happened to him he became like a child he was crying and running inside the house to see her mother 67 years old woman kneeling and praying to god lord if you don't anoint my son if you don't make known yourself to my son you take away my life there is a place called asking god there is a place called seeking god there is also a place called knocking at god if you don't give i will not any more if you don't bless me i will not leave you i will not move from here that is called knocking perseverance that's what the mother was doing she was not educated like ambrose or agustin but agustin saw as she was crying he could meet the lord number 1 he could come to his senses who am i what is my life is so all of our teachings that's what st paul says should accompany god's presence and god's power so we create atmosphere we read the word of god we enter into the life of prayer we wait on the lord all this we do but anointing comes from god power as we read in psalm 61 i heard twice and seen thrice he says the power belongs to god power doesn't belong to us 
in prayer we don't pray we create the atmosphere we hunger for him we thirst for him and he prays with us we hunger lord without you i can't without you i am a sinner lord i am not able to proceed lord i am crushed i am struggling i need you without you i can't move hold on to me if i hold you if any temptation comes i may leave you you hold on to me lord wherever even if i some mistake comes you pull on me lord it's a kind of being led by the spirit that's why in romans 8 14 says those who are led by the spirit they will be called the children of god so we demonstrate the power we demonstrate the presence of the spirit keep this to whenever we go for preaching it is not that we we share our intellectual thoughts it is not that we share how much we understand from the scripture but we kneel at his presence and wait on him the same passage god can give to 100 people in 100 ways whenever i read the scripture the merciful god in his goodness gives to front to front explanation to front to front way he leads us all that we need to do is we have to wait on him we have to invest a time for his presence my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord